wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to for two reasons. The first reason, I actually didn't know if I was allowed to be filming and I didn't know like if I could show their faces or anything. And of course I was too shy to ask. And yeah, secondly, I didn't film so much because I was shy. So now let's get down to the story time. So on the first day, it started with us trying to skin the cadavers. At first, the Japanese students were like hesitant to start dissecting because they didn't know what to do. And it was kind of also really hard to tell them what to do because there was this big language barrier. They couldn't speak English that much and we didn't know anything about Japanese except like nani. <laughs> Anyways, so my friends and I, even with the language barrier, we figured a way to communicate by just speaking with our body. So we were like, skin cut, careful muscle. But of course we had like a, like a handout that gave us like basic translations. So like we were already learning like the Japanese words for muscle and nerve, like shinke and all those stuff. So yeah, it was challenging to communicate with one another, but we did not give up. So we would use our body language or we would point at pictures. We'd be like, this muscle, that one, same, same. It was really funny, but we actually understood each other. So it's like amazing, science is science. You don't need a same language to point, point and show things. So I think that was really interesting. And if there were times that we really couldn't understand each other, we used Google Translate. So yeah, after we managed to find a rhythm of how to communicate, everything was actually smooth going. It was like a big, good flow. By the time it was lunchtime ready, we managed to create a good system of trying to understand each other. And lunch was pretty good. Our first day, our lunch was Filipino food. We were actually worried that the Japanese students wouldn't like it, but they did like it. And it actually even came back for seconds. What really, really impressed me was how the Japanese students worked really fast and how disciplined they were. Like at the start, at the start of every session, like even when we came back from lunch, they would always like stand straight and be like in a position of respect and they would bow. Once the sensei stands in front, they're just quiet and ready. It's really cool. Besides having a really, really great work ethic, I think one thing I really loved about them was that they were so kind and they made us feel so, so special. Like we would just be showing them the techniques, right? Of how to cut it or like, we'd be like, oh, you can pull out the muscle, follow the tendon like this and then you can find the muscle right away. It's easier, it's easier. We'd be like, kantang, kantang, Japanese for easier, or easy, so they told me. Anyway, so we did that, and then we showed them that, and then they would be like, wow, whoa, whoa. And then you would, you could tell that it wasn't like the fake, sarcastic kind of wow. It was like the sincere, wow, you're so amazing. I respect you kind of wow. And like, seeing those reactions, wow, those like, that's like really like heartwarming. Like at the same time, there's like a huge weight in my shoulders. Like all of their eyes were watching me, like believing every word I say or following every action I do. So I really had to make sure like the pressure was on. Now let's move on to the second day. On the second day, sorry, I remember lunch already. For the second day, we had Japanese food for lunch. And I remember my friends and I were like, are we really gonna serve Japanese food to Japanese people who like, eat Japanese food all the time <laughs> but anyway well they still went back for seconds as well so I guess they liked it so yeah moving on to what we did on the second day on the second day we were studying more about the muscles and we were really like learning it and by this time my friends and I were already learning a lot of Japanese medical terms and anatomical terms like you know the translation for nerve artery vein muscle and we would be so if ever, like we'd already tell them, like, oh no no, shinke shinke, and then a lot, and 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 in my group, like a word we always said was yokoyata, because they taught us that yokoyata means good job. So even if I was doing it or my friends were doing it and the Japanese students were doing something good, they would always be like yokoyata, and I don't know, like so my group we just always said yokoyata for like everything. It was really funny and it was fun. It was like good vibes. It was always there was always such great vibes. So yeah, I was really, really enjoying my second time dissecting. It was actually really fun because this time I knew what I was doing and I wasn't afraid of the cadavers anymore. And it was actually really, really cool because I felt like this time I was actually able to preserve and isolate the different structures more. Like I was really able to find things way better than I did. Like my classmates and I, we looked at each other and we always agreed that we learned more from this dissection than we did back in first year because Back in the first year, we really, really had no idea what we were doing and we were just cutting things and we're like, oh, 
oops, he cut, he cut the artery. But now, like one of the Japanese students, they asked me to find the intercoastal arteries and veins. And I was like, oh no, I always cut that back in first year. I don't think I can find that now. But they were all like, no, Zoe, you can do it. And I was like, okay, I will try. And then they were like, no, 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 you can do it. So they were like watching me and cheering me on to find these arteries and veins. And so I was cutting and cutting, like really lightly trying to look for everything. And I found it. I was really like surprised with myself and I felt really, really proud of myself. I was like, whoa. I actually found the intercoastal vein and artery before I was only able to find it because we actually removed the rib cage and then we can see it from the back but this time I was actually cutting through like the different muscles and I found it and then like to find it with other people cheering me on made me feel like really really good about myself and then like another moment that I was really really proud of was when I was able to find the where the common peroneal nerve branches out into a superficial and deep branch like at first we gave up already from finding it but i was like no no no, let me try let me try so i was really digging and digging and i found it, it was cool like i was like yes so i was teaching all the japanese students i was like oh look look here from from sciatic it removes the tibial and comperoneal and then this is the sural this is the where comperoneal branches and i tucked it on different parts of the body and i was like yeah it's see all connected and then they were so amazed and I just felt so proud. Like, yeah, I found it. Let's move on to day three. So on day three, we were eating American food and this time we had ribs. So of course, a lot of us went back for seconds and it was a shorter day. We only had uh, till noon. So we only worked till lunch. And this time I was getting more close with my Japanese group mates like I was talking to them more learning more about them by this time I already memorized all of their names I was calling them by their names we we're all just laughing around like getting like even with a language barrier we were trying our best with the help of Google Translate to understand each other and get to know more about each other another thing that I noticed about the Japanese students is that they were so generous like they kept giving us gifts like on the first day they gave us snacks on the second day they gave us these miso soup packets and then on the third day they gave us like instant katsudon packets which i'm so curious and i really can't wait to try so on my fourth day i was saying goodbye to my newfound friends and they were all telling me how they were all really really sad that it was going to be my last day and that they weren't going to see me again and i also felt really really sad that it was going to be my last day because i really really started to get close to them like i i was already feeling so proud of them because i could see that they really learned a lot and that they learned quickly that they were doing everything on their own already and i thought i formed a bond like i knew each and every one of their names and i knew what they were good at like i knew yuta he was a gymnast he was really good and i know that Uehara owns a restaurant back in Jap Japan and I know that um, Shota, he's good at cycling and Takahiro, amazing at drawing. In fact, Takahiro even offered to draw me something and I, of course, being the vain person that I am, I told him to draw me and then he said that he could do it and I was like, but how am I gonna get it? I won't be here tomorrow and he was like, oh, I'm gonna do it during lunch break and I was like, what? Just during lunch? So after lunch, I was really maximizing my time that I had left with them. I just knew these people for four days and I already got so close to them. Was there like something wrong with me? I don't know. But yeah, I super enjoyed, like I learned so much, like no regrets to volunteer and to spend a week of summer to go there. And so yeah, at the end of our last day, Takahiro showed me the drawing and wow, it was so good. I was so surprised like how he could draw something with so much detail in just a lunch break. That was really surprising for me. Like some people are really born so talented. And yeah, I said, so after that, I took a pic, I took pictures with them, and then I said my goodbyes. I hugged each and every one of them, and I hope I left a mark to, to them as well because they definitely left a mark on me. Like, they're kind, generous, thoughtful, friendly, funny, and like just cheerful personalities. Will really, 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 really be remembered. So yeah, that was my week volunteering with the Japanese students, and I encourage all med students to volunteer to help out as exchange students in the future because it's really a great experience to meet new people and to see like learning from their perspectives as well and to learn from their study habits and I thought it was just a really cool experience and I encourage everyone to try out these experiences and yeah if you're still here and you've watched this long thank you please make sure that you've already subscribed and liked the video and 
Bye.